everyone, this is Tim from Euro6 Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Windows 11 uh, recovery drive on your PC. And uh, one thing that we do need to do is make sure this is formatted to FAT32. So if you have something that's uh, like 32 gigabytes or less, that's great. So I'm going to plug this into my computer right now. And if you have something larger, we can still do this. However, we're going to have to create a new volume on it that's 32 gigabytes or less. So I'm just going to cancel this out so it doesn't do anything yet. And I want to go down to Disk Management, type this in, Disk Management, and go to uh, Create and Format Hard Disk Partition right here. Open this up. And we're going to see a bunch of different uh, drives on here. I'm going to go to the drive I just plugged in. And I'm going to delete the entire volume. So let's go to Delete. So your drive may be larger than 32 gigabytes, and this is what we need to do. Once we have everything deleted, go to New Simple Volume, go to Next, and then allocate some space to it. So I'd probably say maybe like 30,000 would be good. 30,000, just type that in, and go to Next. Assign a letter to it, E, it's fine. And then go to the file system, FAT32. Go to next and finish this up. Now you're going to have some unallocated space in the future if we ever want to use this. We can just delete the left and both of them will be combined. And then you can just assign a new letter. So now that we have this FAT32, we can go on down to uh, create a recovery drive. Just type that in, create a recovery drive. Select this, go to yes. And now this is going to load. So I'm just going to go to next. It's going to load for maybe like 20, 30 seconds. Plug in your drive down below. So I have mine plugged in. And uh, yeah, this should work too if you got a little bit larger than uh, 32 gigabytes. So you just have to shrink the volume or create a new uh, uh, and uh, assign a drive letter to it. So we're just going to wait for this to finish up and it could take a little bit of time. All right, so I have this installation media going, and I, I actually want to launch from it. So what I want to do is when it's complete, I'm just going to cancel this out right now. And then I'll go to the startup menu here, and then go to power and turn it off. So I have this other installation media. I'll show you how to do this, but we want to launch into the BIOS menu, and we want to make it's so we boot off of this USB. So when we see this little screen pop up, we want to press the delete key. So you're going to see like uh, the symbol, press the delete key right away, and you should be able to open up BIOS. Now you might see some sort of other option down here other than the delete key for the BIOS menu. And then uh, we want to go on over to boot and change your boot option number one to USB hard disk. And then plug in your USB installation media or your recovery drive. Both will work. And then go to save and exit. So it's plugged in down there at the bottom. And then this should just boot directly from that and you should see like a blue screen. So I'm actually using an installation media and this is my, well this was supposed to be my recovery. It was just taking way too long so I stopped it. And it might take like an hour to create that. It takes a, seriously a long time. Or maybe it's just because I'm using an SD card. So let's just go to English now. It'll look something like this. And then instead of going to install, I'm just going to go to repair my PC. And it should bring us to this recovery screen. We can choose the language. And then we can go to troubleshoot. And we have these different options under here. Like we go to system restore point if we got one of those. Uh, startup repair, UEFI firmware settings, uh, that's the BIOS menu, uh, system imagery recovery. So we could try one of these. Um, I believe you might run into a bit lock error. Well, it's not error, it's, to me it's an error. Uh, just go on over to Microsoft.com, whatever the link that pops up, and you should be able to type in like a 48 character code. And uh, once you have that code typed in, you should be able to validate that and then you should be able to recover it. So I just have BitLocker turned off. I uh, can go to, uh, I think it's like privacy and security, device encryption, turn that off, and you'll never see BitLocker again. But hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel down below.